TC99 MDP scan of a young male known smoker shows hot spots in bilateral parotid gland. The most probable diagnosis is okay. So TC99 starts for technetium 99 and uh, P stands for phosphorus. So what over here is it is an isotope of phosphorus. This which is used for the technetium scan is used in order to identify in most cases an aberrancy or in uh, an abnormal activity of a particular gland. They are mainly used for glandular tissues because these glandular tissues are able to take up the isotope and they are able to release the marker based on which the scan that is obtained is able to identify and tell you whether it is some pathology or it is physiology. So when it comes even for the thyroid gland and this was asked in NEET MDS 2021 where they had asked a question as to an image was shown of the thyroid gland and it had shown a complete black spot. So that means for thyroid say for parotid if you have taken phosphorus thyroid ends up taking up radio iodine RAI as we call it. So this radio iodine is an isotope of iodine and you use a technetium scan because this scan basically helps to visualize the radioisotopes and give you a complete picture an image of how the scan is looking or how which part of the gland has taken up the isotope and which part has it so if this was a thyroid gland you could see complete and these scans are black and white okay so whatever the dot dot that you see is the part of the gland which has taken up the isotope so there was a thyroid tissue that like this which had shown complete darkness uh, stating that the entire gland has taken up the isotope so basically they were trying to ask which what is the diagnosis and in this case it's the graves disease because in graves disease all the glands the entire glandular structure ends up taking up the isotope that is why so in similarity because i have already mentioned the technetium scans are mainly used for glandular tissues in this case they have stated that they have told that it's the bi bi bilateral parotid that means both the parotid glands have ended up taking up the technetium scan and there are hot spots so what a hot spot will appear like this dark for example see over here if you look at this the hot spot will appear dark whereas the normal tissue will appear white okay so similarly over here they have show, stated that there is hot spots on both sides of the gland so since there's hot spot on both sides of the gland that means it is some type of pathology and in most cases this pathology is a malignant lesion or it can be even a benign lesion but it is some form of neoplasm so when it comes to that you can identify that tubercular cervical lymphadenopathy is out because they inv involve the uh, lymph nodes they do not involve the glands so the last answer is out. Second is mumps. So mumps is a viral infection and in the viral infection there is a problem with the ability to produce the saliva. Because of that there is even if there is because even if there is enlargement of the glands the function of the gland is affected. So that is why there will be no contrast that you will see on the technetium scan because as such the gland function has been disturbed because of the viral infection there, and there is an enlargement of the gland that is all. And like I told you, technetium scans mainly identify a particular neoplasm. So that is going to leave us between these two options. Now, they have stated over here that it is a young male and he is a known smoker. Okay, so most of the salivary gland neoplasms occur more commonly in the female as opposed to the males in the ratio of 6 is to 4. So this could be either a pleomorphic or Warthin's tumor. But if they have very clearly mentioned that it is a young male and he is a known smoker, then the answer is going to be Wharton's tumor. Why? Because Wharton's tumor, if you have read from the from Schaefer's, it has been very clearly stated that there is some correlation between this tumor as well as uh, a smoking person. That is the reason why and since male men smoke more commonly as compared to females, the percentage of people, men who smoke, showing this pathology is higher. However, trends have changed. But just for theoretical purpose, remember that if they are speaking about a young male who is a known smoker and is showing some aberrancy in the parotid gland, that means it could be a Warthin's tumor. Okay.